preacher here. Join me for God's word on my heart. Preacher here. It's time for God's word on my heart. You know what God's put on my heart? That we have hope in Jesus. We don't have to worry about it being too late. We don't have to worry about whether or not we've lived good enough. Because in God's eyes, we all fall short. Not one of us have lived good enough. And he knows that we couldn't. Because there would still be sin in our lives. And sin in God's eyes is not acceptable. So he made a way for us to be able to go by giving his one and only son, by sending Jesus to die on the cross and rise again in three days. Jesus paid for our sin. You see, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God through Christ Jesus is eternal life. So I want to share a little bit out of 1 John chapter 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. You know, as Christians, we're to love one another. We're to love other Christians. We're to, to stand in that hope and to know that, that we're going to all be in heaven one day. And we need to be going out and sharing God's love and the gospel with others. says, for this is the love of God, that we keep his commands. And his commands are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. You want to overcome your shortcomings? You want to overcome all the times you keep messing up and falling back and, and everything? You want to truly turn to God? You need to put your hope and your trust in Jesus. When you do that, God's going to help you make the changes in your life and the growth in your life to keep His commands. That's why God's commands aren't burdensome. Because he gives you the Holy Spirit as a gift, a helper, to help you live for him, to help you show that love, to help you work through the things in your life. And as a Christian, your whole life through, you're going to be working on your life, growing closer to God, working on your relationship with God. But that's not a bad thing, because that's not what saves you. You, you don't work to be saved. You just put your trust in Jesus. And that's what verse 4 says. Everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Except the one that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. You know, if you wonder whether or not you're going to go to heaven... It all stands on what do you believe. Romans 10, 9 says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. There's no other work, no work, nothing you can do that could get you to heaven. You need to trust in Jesus. He paid your way. He paid for your sins. And through him, you are made righteous. Your hope is in Jesus. And Jesus loves you. You see, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, so much that he gave his one and only Son, his only begotten Son, that whosoever, that includes you, Whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him 
might be saved. He didn't come here to kick you and put you down because none of us would make it. He came here to give you away. Put your trust in him. Be blessed.